West, new excitement. And the Old West was, you know, it's characterized in film in Hollywood from the illicit and the sinful things that went on in Dodge City to the fact that there were 17 bars here. Uh, but later on, uh, quite a few churches as well. There was always a, a sort of a collision between uh, the finely dressed gambling people like Bat Masterson who, uh, and others, Doc Holliday, who were dressed well, and they were here uh, as opportunists for the cattlemen who were not dressed so well and got an awful lot of money because they just came to the end of the uh, road. The museum's been around here since 1954, and we've had thousands and thousands of people. Back during the heyday of Gunsmoke, we'd run 65 to 170,000. And in uh, 72, we ran 402,000 through the turnstiles here, which was the centennial year for Dodge City. Dodge City was the original entertainment center of Kansas. Gaming was part of its thread because that was part of the entertainment process. What's, what's more natural than to stroll into the Long Branch, get yourself an ice cold Budweiser and sit down and have, have a, car, a, a poker game? We wanted to, to bring some new vitalization of economic development and tourism collections southwest Kansas and Dodge. So Boot Hill Museum decided to form a, a company called Boot Hill Gaming Inc. And we started this whole process to go down the road to make Dodge City more than just a cattle town, just more than an agriculture town, to turn it actually into a, a, an offense town. We were looking for a way for a dedicated source of funding for Boot Hill. We, we looked in a bed tax issue and some other issues. Gaming opportunity came up and we just identified that as, wow, what a great tie back to our old west heritage. Boot Hill is much more than a legacy of gun smoke. Our history goes long before that happened. And we're proud of that history and we want to tell people about it. Some people don't know who Dodd, what Dodd City is. There's a generation there that have missed that western heritage. People want to come see the history. They want to come to the Boot Hill Museum. They want to uh, live that past. They want to uh, be able to talk to people who uh, know what's happened in the Old West. We had uh, met the Butler people along the way because they represented others, so we kept showing up in the same places. They're a Kansas company, and I think that's one of the things that pleases us the most out here is that we are all working together in Kansas. They have good relationships with people in Kansas. They have uh, obviously the financial means to do it and, and obviously the organizational means to, to stay solvent and, and be successful in the future. I was glad to see that they already had some experience in casinos uh, down in Miami, Oklahoma, operating that casino for the Indians for a few years. Working with Butler National would ensure that these dollars that are raised through this project go in the hands of Kansas people, Kansas corporations, they stay in our communities, they help encourage the growth. They have made a, a true effort to educate the people, to show the plans, to actually let people ask questions. They're not just wanting to build a, a gaming facility for the sake of building a gaming facility to, to just to make money. I think they do want to be good community members and, uh, and the community in turn is giving, lending them the heritage and, and the history of, of what we're doing. I feel like they want to be a partner, not a parasite. The company's Kansas. Well, who better to understand Kansas? The way Butler is coming in, it's becoming a family operation and Dodge City is the family. And if we keep it as a family operation, we can't do anything but go forward. I made a commitment to buy 400 acres of prime land for this, uh, sloping land that really made a destination out of it, not just a, a place. That initial investment will lead to additional growth regardless. I think it's uh, certainly without doubt a bold move in completing the acquisition. And, I think we all feel good about that and the, and the, the indication then to the state uh, of their commitment. They understand uh, the, the, our Western heritage and the brand that it has uh, for the world and they're using that uh, for our benefit and for of course the benefit of the casino. They want it, they're planning on it, they're, they're going all out for it. 
They didn't make it. It's not an option. They bought it. This isn't about gaming and casinos as much to us as it is about the economic stimulus that will happen to Dodge City. Placing it on the outskirts of town there, pulling some of that uh, retail uh, and such in that direction, uh, and uh, the fact that it's going to be bringing in more retail. I was pretty impressed with their casino design that they had, that we had a little western theme to it, that it wasn't just something that uh, was more modern. Uh, we need to stick with the western heritage because that's what we are. Retail is important. Retail will bring more people in because with the convention center that's going to be tied to this facility and the event center which should be tied to this facility and the, the fact that we can bring in these anywhere from six to eight hundred people for conventions bring them in for two three days four days they can shop they can see the old west they can do whatever they want to as far as the eye can see you can see the beauty of western kansas the boot hill board as well as several other people throughout the community have been very positive and have really promoted that growth as an econ economic development tool Boot Hill Gaming, we've got to go back, started because it's a part of Boot Hill Museum who is desperately in need of funds. All museums today are having a hard time. That was our motivation. That was the cost of the business, of, of all of the years we've spent. We've convinced Butler to give us another piece of the action so that we can have monies that we can take and use through an endowment type of scenario that we can grant and we can gift to help new businesses coming in to start to make Dodge City and Western Kansas, the Wild West counties, a more than a half day layover. They proved to us that they weren't just looking at the casino for Dodge City's development. They were looking at the big picture, and we were all invited to be a part of that. The bottom line of their plan, and I think the most significant for the community, is that they're returning money to the community to help grow Western heritage tourism in the area. Real gaming, real entertainment, a lot of the past. Little touch, little feel, live it, live it. Old West New Entertainment. Makes sense. When Gunsmoke was on, this was a destination. It's, it's no longer one. It's a pass-through. Now we need to make it a destination again. Because it just fits. It's, it's, it's a natural fit. Dodge City, to me, is a gold mine sitting on the ground. It has the potential if it's properly marketed and developed. Maybe this would kind of follow in the path of, of helping people come to Dodge City, kind of like the first big cattle drive that ever came up the trail from Texas to Dodge City in 1874 when we had 3,500 head come in. Butler National, I think, has recognized the passion that the community has for preserving our heritage, for enhancing Boot Hill, for making all of Southwest Kansas a much more enjoyable place to attract tourist traffic. There's going to be many, many, many more discussions for the future and, and uh, good people to talk to, good people to reason with, so there's no doubt in my mind it won't be a good fit. I feel like they know the community better. I feel like their experience in the gaming uh, industry uh, will help us out. To me, they're just, you know, the, the best uh, the most capable of doing what needs to be done here. Butler would have uh, you know, the inside track uh, as far as most people are concerned. And, uh, because as I say, I think that, that uh, they, their track record is, is much better. You get that type of caliber working for you, it's just hard to beat. It's gonna be successful. Because of that honesty and willingness to partner with us, to work with us, to achieve jointly something that will be beneficial for not only their development, but the community as a whole, uh, without question, we support Butler National. The fun old west is back. You should come to Dodge City, put your foot on a brass rail, have a sarsaparilla, and feel like you're in today's world, but you've stepped back a bit. Entertainment, that was Dodge then, that is Dodge today. That's really Dodge tomorrow. <laughs>